African buffalo, which is a force to be reckoned with. Now, there's lots of young cubs in this pride. This is live. This is happening right now. The lionesses do seem to be chasing them, but they need to be careful because at any point those buffalo could turn around and chase those and chase those cats. Are they going to try and go for them? They might just be trying to protect their cubs too. But this is live. This is happening right now. You can ask me any questions that you like. You can just comment away. This is so exciting. Are they going to try and make an attempt? It, it doesn't look like it. I think they're actually just fearing for the life of their cubs. Oh, little one, get out of the way. Because in Africa, buffalo kill just as many lions as lions kill buffalo. The table can turn at any moment. How exciting is this? Megan, you've said, wow, it is. It's very exciting. I'm a bit concerned for those little ones because, like I said, if those buffalo do decide to turn, whew, They'll need to get out of the way very quickly. Now there's lots and lots of people here. Of course, everyone's very excited. Hopefully, everyone gives the buffalo enough room to get away. We're going to hang back over here, though. I think that's what's happening. I don't think that the lions were actually hunting those buffalo. I think that they're desperately just trying to protect uh, to protect their youngsters. Now, Valerie, you're wondering what pride this is. This is the Ngama pride by the looks of it. We actually had them last night. There's another one running in. The buffalo actually might come and run this way. Now, like I said, this is a, a public area, so there are lots and lots of vehicles around. We'll hang back. I've had buffalo charging towards me at a panic, and it's not fun, especially if one runs straight towards you. But there they go. The lions are still chasing them off. Buffalo not having it. The buffalo have decided to tuck their tail between their legs and are trying to race away. Isn't this amazing? And it's first thing in the morning here. The sun is just starting to peep over the top of the clouds. Here we go. The buffalo look like they're stopping and turning again. And this can go on for quite some time where they'll just challenge one another. Now, the last couple of occasions, I have seen big herds of buffalo stampeding towards lions. Here we go. You can see one, one of the Duggar boys has turned. He's got his head raised. See how his posture is changed? Look at the lioness is now backing off. She knows. She knows she has to be careful. They've got very, very sharp horns. Very, very strong hooves, and that could trample a lion quite easily. Now, Dina, you said you don't want to see those cubs in a, a get hurt in a bad way. Well, this is nature. It is raw. There are no rules out here. And like I said, the tables turn off. And there we go. We've got some support now coming from uh, the other buffalo. All three of them have turned and decided we're going to push the lions back from which they came. Now, they have got a a lugger, a drainage line in this area, which uh, they can use for shelter. There is quite a bit of water. There we go. Clever cubs running back, retreating, and that's important. Even even that lioness is now giving them a wide berth. Hopefully, that lioness will be enough uh, to dis of a distraction to lure the buffalo away from the young cubs. But these are big boys. They've probably experienced many lions in their life, and they're not still around for no reason. They are the toughest of tough buffalo. So she has to be exceptionally careful. Oh, there come the little cubs again on the left. Careful, careful. Yes, you see, very clever, running towards the drainage line. Oh no, but there's a problem. You see, they're in between mom and the buffalo now. See how the buffalo are going towards them? It'll be a safe spot for those youngsters if they do hide around. Now, even though they are so young, they're quite nimble on their feet, so they should be able to get away. Megan, you've said that mothers will do anything for their babies, humans and animals. You're quite correct. You might be able to hear the buffalo. They're starting to sort of snort. Now, these animals can weigh just shy of a ton. And a lioness only weighs about 150 kilograms. So there's a huge size difference. Look at this. They're not taking any of the lion's nonsense today. There is a lion behind them, though. Now, if one of these lionesses were to decide to pounce on the back of a buffalo, you'll probably find that the others will join in and actually try and chase the lions off again and, and try and protect them. There's a strong pond between buffalo, not just the big breeding herds, but between these groups of males as well. There's some youngsters hiding in the grass and some adults. Natalie, you're wondering if... Uh, the adults are trying to lure them away. I, I, you know, they keep going down into a hunting posture. But uh, I think it's a bit of a game at the moment. Maybe they're going to try and separate one of the buffalo. 
and the others will chase the, the two away and give them an opportunity to catch it because like I said, if they catch one and these other two are still around, they're going to come back and they're going to try and, and rescue that buffalo. Buffalo are, are famous for rescue missions where they'll hear the distress call of another and they all turn and, and, and basically a wall of massive animals will come charging towards and, and actually push off the buffalo. That is the most beautiful shot, Craig. Just the morning light, lionesses walking towards the buffalo. This is so exciting. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat firstly because are these lionesses going to supply a meal for their pride or are the buffalo going to turn and will the cubs be quick enough to get out of the feet if they do start charging towards them? But they're big animals. You can clearly see the size difference there. One lioness leading the little ones away. Roshni, you said that this sighting has got you sitting on the edge of your bed. Well, me too. I've got no more room to move around on my chair. It is unbelievable when things like this happen. And for us, we're really lucky because we spend so much time out and about with these animals. And to see things like this is actually not as common as, as what you think. Um, the, the times that I've seen lions versus buffalo have been plenty, but I've also been working many, many years in the bush. And uh, it's still an incredible sighting uh, to see, especially when you've got the beautiful colors just behind uh, all these animals. So things seem to be settling down for now. Two of the buffalo have turned and are moving away very slowly. Now, Patty, you're wondering if a buffalo would trample a lion to death or if it would use its horns. It would use a combination of both. And one of the things that make buffalo so dangerous is that they don't stop. So they won't stop until there is no movement left from or whatever they will be attacking. So they will jump on them and basically trample them with their hooves. And then what they'll do is they'll put their heads down onto the ground. And sometimes they even just crush them. It's not necessarily the, the tips of the horns, which are very, very sharp. But that looks like an old bull. So they don't look very sharp at all. But that boss, that big part of the horns on top of his head, he'll push down with the weight of his shoulders and that will be enough uh, to crush a lion. So it's, this is why it is it's so worrying uh, and it's important that these lionesses keep themselves between the buffalo and the cubs because if one cub wanders around and the buffalo gets whiff of it, that, it, um, that there is one lion on its own, they're going to go for it. And they